Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Jason, my guy behind the camera is Trenton, and this is the Diamond Knife Company. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Jason, as I mentioned in the intro. I'm here with Trenton today, and we've got a good one for you. We're gonna be doing a deep dive review on a knife, the Demco 20.5, but before we get into that, I wanna remind everyone that we are doing a giveaway for these two knives and this case. So if you wanna see what these are and get registered, you need to jump over to our first video. We will leave a link at the end of this video where you can jump over there after you're done with this video and get registered. All of the instructions are in the description of that video. All right, now today's video is gonna be about this guy right here, like I said, the Demco 20.5. We're gonna tear this thing down and get a better look on the inside. So Trenton, bring the good people in and get them a better look. All right, before we jump into this thing, I wanna kinda of give you guys a better look at the knife. Um, this is gonna be the left side of the knife. Um, if you wanna carry this knife left hand, you can. Um, here are gonna be the uh, where the hardware will attach it, these two screws right here. Now, you can't remove the pocket clip from the other side, you'll actually have to use a separate pocket clip if you want to carry it for the le for you left hand individuals and that does come in the packaging. So when you get this, um, the extra pocket clip is included in there, which is nice. Um, and then this will be the right hand side of the knife there, you can see where the pocket clip is. The other thing to note as well on this model is, is that this pivot only has um, a Torx on one side. The other side is flat. <clears throat> so this we'll have to look inside when we tear it down and see how this is actually manufactured so that that pivot does not spin around whenever you're actuating the knife and, uh, and, and taking it apart as well. And then there's the actual blade. They do make it with a drop point blade as well, but I liked this version of the blade. Um, it does have S35VN blade material. It does also say, I don't know if the camera is picking that up, if it's close enough there, but it does say that this uh, knife is manufactured in Taiwan. And that, that kind of, when the amount of money that this knife goes for, um, so this knife right now, at the time of us recording this, um, the manufacturer has a map uh, manufacturer's advertising uh, advertised price of $250 with these scales and this blade material. And $250 with Taiwan stamped on the blade, um, I thought that might have been a little, a little pricey, a little too much. But from, from using this knife, and I'll say this knife is scary sharp. Anything you touch, just as soon as you touch it, it starts to cut. Um, extremely, extremely sharp right out of the box. And so far from the outside, the fit and finish on this knife is fantastic. Once we tear it open, we'll be able to see uh, if that carries over to the inside. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm gonna start with the hardware here on the pocket clip. Oh, I got the T10 in there. We're going to need to jump over. So it's T6 for all the hardware and then T10 for the pivot. So you got two screws here on the pocket clip. So we'll get those removed. And then we got one more right here on the back. And then we can jump over to the pivot. So we'll switch out our Torx bit there. And then we can so see pulling this out the other side doesn't spin so we'll have to see what's holding that so we'll pull off this scale now i know that here with the shark lock on the top i know that there is a spring in there um, so we're gonna have to be very careful when we get this off of here that it, that spring doesn't come flying flying off so there's the actual first scale there and you can see the liner is milled to fit down in there. I'll put that up here real quick. 
and then right in here in the back side of the knife that's where the actual shark lock is so I'm anticipating there being a spring in here so I'm going to go ahead and pull this off slowly so that we don't have a spring flying off and going across the room and then having to try to find it so this might take a second or so to get that off of there so you've got two posts here along with these two posts this uh, travel stop for the blade and then you have these three standoffs right here and this liner sits down on all of those so you got to kind of finagle it off of there all while trying to make sure that that spring doesn't come flying out of there so it's a little tricky oh and just caught it right there it was almost completely out of there got lucky so there's the spring now we can remove this liner and I'll give you a shot of that so this is obviously with the blade closed that spring in there is keeping this lock forward and then when you push this back um, that's going to push against the spring and then when you let go it will actuate forward and it rides on these two posts so this is the actual the actual lock there and then you can see I don't know if it's picking it up on the camera or not but right here in the front where your finger would grab to actuate it backwards there's some jimping there and then there's also some jimping right here where your uh, thumb ramp where you would rest your thumb on there so that's the locking mechanism now if we look at the blade we'll pull these two standoffs there and along with this travel stop you can see the blade resting in there here's all of your barrel standoffs since it is an open back design and then um, you can see the bearing here it is cage ball bearings sitting on the pivot there so we can remove that um, looks like there's 10 ball bearings in there and uh, the blade itself um, is not milled out for the caged ball bearings. The actual liner, you can see right here, this is not, but the actual liner is. It's milled where that, that bearing will sit in there. And then take a look at the other side right there. So if we remove the other other bearing that's sitting down in there in the liner and you can see the pivot and I don't know if you can if you can see that or not but on this side here it's actually flat it's not completely round so if we remove the pivot out of there that's what's actually that's what's actually keeping actually keeping that from rotating is that it has a flat spot there on the liner so we can remove these other three barrel standoffs and then we'll have the knife completely apart so we'll get we'll get this one off for the middle and then these two right here would be um, if you wanted to change out the pocket clip then these two would be the ones that you would be using for that so we'll get both of those off of there okay that should be it get those out of there so, so far, taking this apart, everything looks extremely, extremely, um, as far as the tolerances are concerned, everything looks really, really good. Everything fits in there extremely tight, um, really nice. Everything is smooth and polished. There's no rough areas on anything. Um, everything fits together very, very well. But you can see right here, hopefully you can pick that up, that on this liner right there, it is straight across for the pivot and that's what keeps that pivot from turning but if i put this back in here i mean that thing fits in there really really nice really clean all the way around there's no rough spots it's all flat there's everything is is really well put together so i don't see anything that sticks out that would compromise the the use of the knife over the long haul or or degrade the knife you know as far as value i think that it's it's definitely worth 
worth the money that they're asking for. So let's go ahead and put this back together and then um, we can see how well it's gonna operate once, once it goes back together. Um, very, very easy knife, like I said, to take apart. So if you had this knife and you wanted to use it in an environment where it was dusty, dirty, uh, you get grit, um, this knife would be very, very easy to take apart. Um, you could clean it, oil it, it'd be very easy to maintain. And, and that's the thing that you probably would want to do because um, with it having the ball bearings, um, a lot of people shy away from using a knife that has ball bearings in the pivot and they'd rather use one with washers just for that simple fact that they don't want to have to take the knife apart if it gets super gritty or dirty in there. They want to just be able to wash it out without having to take the knife apart. So this knife would be a good knife to uh, be able to use anywhere and easy to maintain. All right, so we got all that back together. Now we just need to slide the pivot back in there. Slide, pop that back in there and line that line that up just right and there we go then we can drop our bearing back on there put our blade back on slide our lock back on there whoops maybe put it on there the right way that'll help us all right actuate that all the way forward and then you can see right there when it's all the way forward i don't know if you pick that up or not but that's how it actually sits in there and fits around the blade and then this spring, once we pop that spring in there, that's going to keep it forward so that it, that's essentially the detent for the knife, is that pressure up against there. So let's put that back in there, and then we'll have to put the other liner on top. And be careful when we're putting this back in there that we don't, again, we don't shoot that across the room. Yep, it's already wanting to come out of there, so I'm going to have to make sure that I take my time and don't don't mess up here oh I pulled that other pivot out of there I don't know if that's gonna oh I think we got it yep all right that's back together now we can put our other liner on. Oh, actually before we do that, I just made a, I got in a hurry. I was too worried about that spring. Actually what we need to do, or it's definitely not going to work right. Make sure we don't lose that spring. Oh, that thing is jumpy. I need to put our other, there we go, our other bearing. Now we can put this back on there. Slide that forward. Yep. Bring in there. There we go. And then there we go. That's on there. And then our other scale can go on now. All right. So then all we have is the uh, po um, the pocket clip, the pivot, and then one more screw in the middle of the knife and then this thing will be completely back together. All right, pivots in, switch that. We'll put our pocket clip back on. There. So yeah, so far I'm really impressed with the construction of this knife. Uh, super easy, obviously from you can see that it's super easy to uh, work on. Other than that tricky, uh, the tricky spring thing. Uh, other than that, really easy to take apart and put back together. And we'll just check our pivot. Oh, a little too tight, so we'll loosen that up just a bit. We'll loosen that up just a little bit. Oh, there it is. 
All right, guys, we're gonna bring you back out in front and uh, I'll give you my final thoughts on this knife. Well, there you go, guys. Knife's back together. And I gotta say that I'm really impressed with this knife. When I first got it, I wasn't sure about it. A um, Couple things that I was unsure of is one, the knife um, is a little bit smaller than what I'm used to carrying. Um, my hand does fit all the way on it and you can choke up on it. It does have a, it does have a forward chole here. But the one thing I will say is that the knife is, is rather thin. I don't know if you can, if, if you can see that on the camera or not, or if it's, but um, I'm used to more of a fuller filling knife, something that's either thicker or it has um, the actual shape on the knife that's gonna round into your hand more. And this knife, but the more that I'm carrying this knife, I'm starting to appreciate the size of the knife. Both uh, the thin where it doesn't take up a lot of room in your pocket um, and that it, it is a smaller knife. So both of those things combined, it does make it a nice knife to carry. So if you like all of the different features that this knife has and you can uh, afford to put one of these, if you have the budget to purchase one of these, I would definitely say go for it. I think you're gonna be very, very happy with it. Um, I wasn't sure if I would keep this knife in my collection, my personal collection, or if it was something that I would sell, but I believe that this knife is gonna stay in my collection because uh, I, I have been carrying it for some time now here and I keep going back to it, so gonna hang on to that. Well, I really appreciate you guys hanging out to the end of the video. Um, and let us know, please let us know if you appreciate these types of reviews. I know that there's not very many people out on YouTube now that are actually doing this deep of a review on knives. So we thought that we would be able to give you guys a little bit more as far as understanding what you'd be getting if you purchased one of these knives or any of the other knives. So we'd greatly appreciate it if you could leave us comments um, and let us know if you appreciate the videos, this type of video, if there's a different knife that you would like for us to actually do a review on and tear down, leave those knives down in the comments and uh, we'll try it. We'll try to anything that you guys uh, think would be best uh, for the whole knife com community to be able to, uh, to look at and understand better. Um, and then also, I appreciate every one of you guys reaching out to us, leaving us messages. Uh, we appreciate all the support. We appreciate you watching the videos. Uh, before we get out of here, I also want to say, please don't forget to jump over and check out our very first video. Like I said, it is a giveaway video. We're taking the first 100 comments um, and we're using those as entries to the giveaway. Like I said, all of the instructions are in the description of the video. We'll leave you a link to the end of this video. You can jump over there and check that out and hopefully get registered for the giveaway. Um, that's gonna do it for this episode. We really appreciate all of you hanging out to the end of the video. And until the next one, remember to keep those tips up.